Global Rights, thanks Professor Park for inviting me uh, in this conference. But uh, the, the main issue is uh, liquid crystal, but it's, I'm not working on liquid crystal, but uh, it's, uh, it's uh, also this is the last talk. So in some sense, you may regard my talk as a dessert. So <laughs> just uh, uh, listen. So, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not give a detailed uh, proof for one result, just uh, I surveyed uh, uh, some story of uh, this field, okay. <coughs> it's now working. Okay, so, Oh, I start uh, with my talk is a very simple equation. It's a Laplace equation and uh, eigenvalue problem. So, it, of, of course, I uh, uh, discuss about the nonlinear problem, but is a motivation is a, a very simple. So, when you uh, starting. Uh, uh, PD, everybody starts with this, this problem, Laplace equation. And then next one is a linear problem, right? So, because I'm interested in this type of a, a nonlinear problem, so it's called the lame Emden equation. So, P is very, very small, P is very small, so maybe you may, uh, this problem is regarded as uh, some perturbation of linear problem, okay? And uh, u to the p is a uh, uniform norm is very small. Uh, when you like this <laughs> equation, so some smaller one, okay, just uh, write it this way. And then maybe this problem maybe is uh, regarded as a perturbation of uh, Laplace equation. As you know, the, there are uh, Nubile theorem here. So, two, two viewpoint is uh, give some story of uh, uh, when you're studying this equation. So I will explain what is that. Okay. So this uh, this exponent, this exponent is called that setting exponent. Okay. So when you, uh, P is very close to one, okay. P is very uh, less than this uh, exponent, then you may regard this equation as a perturbation of uh, uh, eigenvalue problem. Why? Because, as you know, in a bounded domain, the first eigenfunction in a ball eigenfunction is radially symmetric. Right, so R uh, like here, U zero, start here, should be touch this axis, yeah? So there is no, uh, there is no entire positive solution. So P is very close to, uh, P is very close to one, like this one, then there is no Super solution, positive super solution. Yeah, U bar is a just spherical average. Okay, it's a Jensen inequality. Yeah. Okay, so later on, Jesus Brock proved this uh, less than this exponent. There is no positive solution. It's called that uh, critical sober exponent. And this case is a there is a so, uh, positive solution and R radially symmetric up to translation and uh, behavior like this one. It's a fundamental behavior of a green function at, uh, of minus Laplacian. And so it's a very well-known uh, result. But it's a second order. So fundamental behavior at infinity ha uh, is two. One is, uh, we call that this behavior is called that the fast decay. Next one is a slow decay. What is the slow decay? It comes from the uh, 
scale uh, invariance, some kind of uh, self similarity, is uh, p greater than this exponent, we call that supercritical exponent, then positive radial solution, there is a positive radial solution also, and uh, because like the some uh, like this, uh, this equation has uh, some scaling invariance like this one. So it's very natural to f uh, look for uh, some equation uh, which, are, which is invariant of this scaling. That is the, uh, this one, L times R to the minus 2 over P minus 1. That is a singular solution. Okay? So singular solution has a has a uh, has a meaning because it uh, should be positive here p greater than setting exponent this is a equal one so finally the asymptotic behavior of uh, entire solution uh, like this one we call that this behavior is slow decay because it's a second order so first is a fundamental behavior fast decay second is a slow decay okay so this case supercritical case or radial solution behaves like this one of course, it's a uh, symmetry of uh, uh, positive, or positive solution is a very interesting question, but it's a, essentially is still open. Okay, so some cases is approved, but anyway. So uh, this is a, a self-similar singular solution. Okay, so it's an invariant of like uh, this. Uh, so. We, uh, we exp I will explain the asymptotic behavior at zero of singular solution and the uh, asymptotic behavior of entire solution at infinity. Uh, I, I uh, sh uh, explained the, the behavior is like this one. Okay. Let's think about the singular solution. Okay, so singular solution. Uh, like this one. So in this case, uh, this is a, a unique singular solution, uniqueness. We can prove the, uh, uh, this one. Not in the class of radial solution. So uh, symmetry of singular solution is uh, also proved capillary zeta sprague. And the critical case, critical case. So I think it's very, is a right right viewpoint to be because is uh, in this case in this case uh, by this uh, scaling when you any in, uh, even though any uh, initial data very large but by this scaling you can uh, you can down the uniform norm is very sm you can consider the some solution is uh, initial uh, data very small so due to the p, u is very small, due to the p also, p is very large, then is very small, right? So maybe p is very large, maybe some, uh, some theory, some theory uh, uh, that, that viewpoint is, uh, comes from the uh, Laplace equation, and that, uh, some, some structure preserved like uh, uh, Laplace equation, I think. So p very large, maybe uh, this Nubis theorem, tells us uh, all solution. Of, of course, I uh, restrict myself to the only positive solution, so it's a it's constant, so it's a all radial symm rotation symmetry, has a symmetry and the, uh, and the separated, right? So maybe P is very large, that b behavior may happen, even though the all solution, like this one, in this case, Maybe separation may be happen, I think. Okay. Yeah, this is a unique singular solution. And this is a critical case. Two, two viewpoint meet in this, in this exponent, actually. So this case, uh, there are other type singular solution. We call that Drone-Fowler type solution. 
in uh, this this means that uh, r to the m times u s uh, u is a periodic in t row r so this kind of equi uh, solution studied many people also so it's very the i will i will move on to the more uh, general case and later i a more uh, general consider no general co uh, coefficient later then i consider uh, variation of the uh, uh, operator principal operator so uh, think about this one then is a uh, all structure is a uh, is the same and the the critical exponent uh, uh, changed into this part okay so Joseph Longland studied uh, in 1973 studied this kind of exponent actually they did not observe that 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 phenomena that phenomena is a uh, closely related to the, this viewpoint but recently I observed that this uh, viewpoint is right so anyway P uh, n greater than 10 plus 4 L L is a uh, uh, greater than minus 2 then this exponent is uh, defined and then uh, two positive radial solution cannot intersect each other so it means that like this one so because it is a uh, I only I my talk is uh, my equation is only uh, not in a bounded domain in R n, so there are lack of compactness. But uh, so in some sense, p is very large, like this one. Then we gain some compactness because it's a uh, the okay um, when you're studying uh, uh, the radial solution. Uh, obviously not to be able radial solution then uh, this term is a uh, uh, turn out to be very important and this term is a uh, described the, the asymptotic <laughs> behavior first asymptotic behavior is all same uh, for any alpha positive alpha but is a uh, next one c alpha is a negative continuous function so it means that initial data control infinity so in some sense we gain some compactness so a uh, very good structure to study uh, this kind of problem and the Guini Wang uh, proved the u alpha is a stable uh, in some sense when p greater than pc but is a u, u alpha is un unstable when p less than pc yeah. so Moreover, you considering like uh, the, this kind of uh, semi-linear heat equation, then is a uh, we call that uh, some we look for some uh, self-similar solution. It means that uh, uh, invariance uh, um, under the scaling this one, and then actually the then you satisfying this one so in uh, this kind of elliptic equation also very uh, many many people study this this one so actually p greater than pc then this also separation happens but is a uh, uh, asymptotic behavior is a, a little bit different and uh, uh, is a one to one and on to increasing map so that p, uh, that phenomena also happen this kind of equation also let's move on to the more general equation and k r uh, like this one says like this one and then uh, monotonicity of k some like this one r to the minus l k r is a non-increasing then all uh, similar structure preserved and the critical case is very critical what the meaning of critical p uh, this case is a uh, uh, two is a slow decay 
two is a okay. Two is a slow decay. So uh, critical case. It means that critical case is a decreasing. This time is de uh, non increasing, and not constant. Constant case already we know is a fast decay, but is a not constant. Little bit decreasing. Then is a slow slow decay uh, case happened, but. In this case, less than this norm, uh, this case, then a little bit increasing, then there is no solution, no radial solution. So it's very critical. And this is a uh, proved uh, where you ding and knee, 1985, the later, uh, more general result obtained, Yanagida Yoshitani. So, Asymptotic behavior is a uh, uh, of a singular solution. Is a uh, also we can prove that this one and super critical case asymptotic behavior like this one and uh, non increasing case uh, non increasing case uh, always satisfying this one and more generally p greater than p c and. Uh, uh, this term is a non-increasing case. Uh, this, this, one, this one, then separation also happen. So uh, uh, satisfying this one, and this term is strictly increasing. So, but is uh, we want to cr uh, understand the, the criticality of PC. So. The monotonicity <laughs> of uh, this term is necessary, but is a uh, p greater than p c, and that we can easy to check that this term is uh, greater than one, and uh, define this uh, smaller one, and the non-increasing case uh, then is uh, equal. But generally, the we can uh, uh, is not true, but a little bit improve that that the. Uh, of course, p equal pc case is just one. So this is uh, just the same result, but is a uh, general p greater than pc, a little bit bigger than one. So this satisfying this one, separation also happened. But so a little bit increasing, but that's OK. Separation happened. But the next question is a uh, very interesting, but uh, important question is a uh, criticality of p equal pc. Is it uh, really necessary? Uh, corresponding to the result of the way you ding and knee. Okay. So finally, we pr we can prove uh, this one is a critical case, a little bit increasing, not constant. Constant case separation happen, but a little bit decreasing. Then separation never happen. So really, the PC is a real critical uh, exponent when we st uh, starting separation pyramid. Okay, singular solution also uh, we can prove this one more general case, and and also drone power type also singular solution. So my title is uh, asymptotic self-similar, asymptotic self-similar uh, solution. So it means then uh, k is uh, asymptotic composed to some constant like this one, then the behavior like this uh, behavior like this one. Yeah. So it, I call that uh, this is uh, asymptotic self-similar source. Okay. More generally, um, uh, for singular solution, even uh, uh, non-increasing, little bit decreasing, but the ratio is uh, uh, less than this one, then all solution, all solution is a uh, uh, drawn in a Fowler type. So I can prove that this one also. More general case. Uh, this is not satisfying, it's still open. Okay, in general, uh, asymptotic self similar solution is uh, unique, actually. So, uh, Kelvin transform for supercritical solution corresponds to the uh, by uh, subcritical problem by Kelvin transform. So, when less than this is a uh, also, unique solu uh, equation has a unique solution satisfying this one at infinity. Uh, okay. So, because PC PC depends on L and L, so L goes to minus two is the borderline problem. Then 
the asymptotic behavior a little bit changed, a logarithmic decay. But because it's P -C, greater than PC, PC is there are some separation phenomenon happens. So P, uh, L goes to minus two. The crit uh, critical problem is also uh, the has the some contain some separation structure. Okay, Let the asymptotic behavior is uh, analyzed uh, finally like this one. So because it's uh, some has some difficulty because this term is a uh, is a uh, fixed the C alpha appears here, so there are some difficulty. And, and anyway, the C alpha control the each solution, so we can understand that the uh, the separation phenomena. Okay, actually, the is a Fowler transform. You can easy to ch check that uh, this form when uh, we convert to zero. Eventually, this term is a, if if we converse to zero, eventually this term disappear, and finally V is uh, uh, two alternative, only two alternative uh, exist. Uh, one is V converse to zero, or V converse to, uh, even KT converse to uh, some constant, then V converse to uh, L. Of course, there's some uh, change by some constant. It converse to one, then it's exactly L. Should be converse to L. Okay. So actually, this this transformation uh, equation convert to uh, some equation is a Hardy term, <coughs> and the the condition changed also. So in OD sense. You don't need to start the equa uh, each sol uh, equation separately. It's the same. One structure, just uh, uh, all stories uh, translated into this equation. And the all story is comes from the that can come from the, the, the previous one. And the there are same structure, and many uh, you can. Uh, even a little bit complicated, but is uh, all comes from the separation structure. Little satisfying this one is uh, you can also have. Uh, so even though dimension one and two, uh, some cases the uh, separation happen. Uh, okay, move on. And that uh, actually the separation has uh, in some sense uh, stable. So uh, you can. Considering uh, the uh, the pro uh, stability question of the uh, equation, and then you can prove this one. Uh, but generally, satisfying this one, uh, this one is this is a linearly stable. You can prove the the condition like this one. Uh, the, uh, it is uh, related to the, the separation phenomena. Okay. Okay. Let's move move move. Okay. Last one is a. Uh, Capillary Nirenberg quantile equation also appears. So, Hardy, uh, this equation and uh, and this equation. Okay, L is just a, a zero case, and this is a, in uh, is the same in PD sense, but it's a OD sense. All equation is the. Is the same. Just uh, there are some transformation. So one story all translated. So, but some cases uh, 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 researchers study is uh, separated. But is, uh, uh, is you don't need that. Uh, okay. So because p goes to infinity, maybe you can consider e to the u case, right? So uh, that is the my motivation. And uh, in this case, is a scaling invariance like this one. And the invariant singular solution like this one. Okay, so it's very natural to initial uh, any entire solution behaves like this one, as is the same. Uh, the situation is the same. So actually, I can prove that uh, this is a non-increasing case. Also uh, satisfying this one and the exact asymptotic behavior also. Uh, we can prove this, this one. 
and also separation happened because is a as I already mentioned the dimension a higher dimension separation happened and p goes to infinity e to the u case also separation happens here and it's the same and less than case intersection happened of course you, uh, Taylor studied this case l is go to uh, as zero and k is one of course in this case also this equation uh, this solution in this case is the solution is a stable in some sense okay more generally uh, previously I I we found some D here uh, with the Naito we found some there are some gap here D actually D when D P goes to infinity D just uh, uh, converts to Delta at here Delta here. So it's the same structure. Anyway, it's a uh, separation happens here. Actually, the e to the case every every solution touch the uh, uh, touch the axis. So solution goes to minus logarithmic decay as the minus logarithmic decay. So maybe you can consider in a ball. Uh, there is a problem. You can this kind of problem. Then you can prove that some cases uh, uniqueness positive solution uh, and the unique singular solution in this case. And you can uh, it, uh, this theorem is more very complicated because it's a uh, constant, not constant case. So of course I can I have to. Uh, uh, I have to analyze uh, using the, the, some scaling, but it's very hard to prove. But in this case, uh, bifurcation happens, and then a uh, little bit complicated anyway. Uh, let's move on to a uh, more general case. See, uh, asymptotic behavior uh, uh, like this one, and this, we can prove the uh, singular solution. And, and in this case, uh, crit uh, border, uh, borderline problem like this one, and this is a log log time at infinity. And, and okay, I just uh, move the proof. Okay, <laughs> Let, let's uh, think about the more general uh, the part of the, the operator, uh, pillar Laplacian case, and then. There are also uh, scaling invariants, and you can find some singular solution also. And it's the same story, but it's more a little bit complicated. But uh, some under the, some condition, very big, uh, some exponent separation happens. So it's the same. Okay, and more generally, Hessian equation uh, defined by uh, like this one. Here is a. Uh, Eigen uh, lambda is eigenvalues of the Hessian matrix of second partial derivative, and then uh, simply is a k k to the one is a Laplace case and is a Mong jump pair. So in the in the in the middle is a Gaussian uh, curvature type. So less than the uh, less than that one is a uh, something like uh, the but perturbation of Laplace. So it's the same, some story is preserved. Okay, let's move to the uh, more general case here. And then this is a critical exponent. And then it's the same singular solution. And you can, in all these sense, more very close to the P Laplace uh, equation. So P Laplace operator. So uh, and then finally, is, uh, also there are some very p is very large, so separation happens. So it means that p is very large. Uh, in some sense, a perturbation of uh, so because I always assume the k u to the p is equal to zero. K is negative, then we can use the, the maximum principle. But k is a positive. There is no maximum principle, but in some sense, in some sense, 
P is very large. In some sense, uh, is a maximum maximum principle. I I think <laughs> I, I regard the, the the problem like that. But so the very interesting question. I think P is very large. Even in this equation, maybe P is very large, and U is uh, uh, goes to zero at infinity. Maybe every positive solution may be radially symmetric because it's a it's a, it's a some con conjecture because it's a uh, more, of course it's a more generally uh, greater than uh, supercritical case is a radial symmetry so uh, generally open but it's a, even p is very large in some sense actually is a, it, this is a radially symmetric you know some sense so p is very large i think is a, because we have some separation uh, structure so i think uh, i think that is uh, true i think okay yeah this is a uh, last page thanks okay. any questions